guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go, go, go. So inner number two, right? Inner number two. So we have a 2020-21 Upper Deck SP Signatures Edition Case 2. And this would be our second box. Hopefully it rocks, knocks off our socks. Uh, yeah, man. Let's have at it once again. I've been so fortunate. My goalie mojo and Habs mojo is very uncanny. So I, I'm trying to conjure up some more. We'll see. Maybe I'm due to run out of goalie mojo and Habs mojo. I mean, there's only so much mojo in the galaxy. Uh, in a group break, I once lent it out to someone who needed the goalie mojo. And of course, he hit a goalie after I lent it to him. So we'll see. I mean, I feel like this column is now more eventful. Notice how the packs are inverted. They were upside down in the other uh, case. So it could be that the autos are now on this side. I'm not really sure, I'm lost, I'm lost. So it could be that these are the comments. Do you wanna start from this side? I don't know, we'll see. I have all these theories in my head, between my ears, uh, but who knows? Oh my God, Habs Mojo. All right, Habs Mojo. Uh, Paul Eisbart, and we do have the Morris Rocket Richard Dominant Digits. Yeah, man. What does it say there? Enjoyed a nine game goal scoring streak. So wow, going back to 1550. 1550 is the first person to ever do 1550. That's why he's so celebrated. And Salvador. And let's see who this is. Let us see. So we have Dale McCourt. We have Melnick in the morning. Uh, that's a reference to radio. And we do have an Eric Ranger, which is kind of cool. And we have Roostalainen. So we have a Roostalainen canvas. The canvases are great. The only uh, negative I say is that the pictures are the same on both front and back. And there is Orpic, two times Stanley Cup with your pens. All right, a D. So Manderville, we have Shanahan, and we do have the Stevie Y, the Stevie Y, which is still just a tier one. Larionov, which is a low numbered card, not a high numbered card, and a Denis Savard. Now, I mentioned the quads. I obviously have yet to hit a duel or a quad of those Century. The Century cards uh, sort of a throwback to the 1999-2000 baseball cards. But I should tell you guys uh, some of the uh, trips on the checklist. I'll do that in a minute. So we have Darren Shannon, and we do have a life after hockey, and it's another Stu Grimson. I've hit this card before. Uh, Sammy Salo, Al Iafredi, and Johnny LeClaire. So the trip signatures is a five card checklist. So there's a Maple Leafs one, there's a Bruins one, there's an All-Star one, there's a Canucks one, and there's a Kings one. Um, but the All-Star one is all goaltenders. That would be the ideal one for me to hit. Uh, Jocelyn Tebow, speaking of goaltenders, and the Chris Joseph, uh, Glenn Anderson, Keith Primo, and Corey Cross. You know, Chris Joseph has or had a son who died in the Humboldt uh, bus crash. Uh, which is sort of a tragic thing worth noting. And here is the auto. So it seems to be that these base autos are in the first column in this particular case, which is interesting to note and know. Dave Schultz, who is a beast. There's the Wayne Gretzky. Uh, the, Wayne Gretzky has a low number card and a high number card. The high number cards in the Rangers jersey, I believe. And then we have Eddie the Eagle, and we have another one of these base sort of gold foil autos, and it's an old school one. And I know who exactly who this is. This is Wilson of the Habs because I have Habs mojo. Murray Wilson, can you, I can't believe it. So of course I hit a Hab. That is wicked. He's on the Habs in the late 70s, uh, mid to late 70s. That is awesome. And I mean, he's the brother of Doug Wilson, who you probably know from the Sharks, uh, but he won the cup four times with the Habs in the 70s. So that is wicked. That is wicked. I mean, he's pretty obscure for you guys. But I remember him on the Habs in the late 70s when I was just a kid. Uh, very, very cool. Daryl Shannon and Havlak. And we do have the Scotty Niedermeyer digits. Funny thing about Wilson, this is a funny tale, but he's, his name's misspelt on the cup um, multiple times, which is hilarious. I think they omitted uh, the A in Murray. They just went straight to the Y. Uh, which is kind of funny. There's Pierre Bouchard. I'd like to hit a Pierre Bouchard. Who's the son of uh, Emile Butch Bouchard, by the way? And Rich Preston. Okay, nice dash, dude. I feel like some people confuse the two Bouchards. Butch Bouchard was the captain of the Habs. This guy was more of an enforcer type. Oh my God, we have... Uh, I'm gonna put it aside. We'll, we'll save it for the last one, why not? We have another Acetate Future Watch. What a box, man. This is turning out to be a great box. 
I'm really happy and content with this box thus far. So there we have Mike Commodore. He's like all over this, but Billy Smith, give me a Billy Smith auto. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna hit a Jacques Plante auto because he died in 86. Uh, and Shell Samuelson, there were uh, multiple Samuelsons, but that's the Shell Samuelson, who's really tall, I think. Continuing on, and we have Yuri Slager, as well as Tom Chorsky, and the Evolve of the Randy Carlisle. So there you see him. So his future watch looks a lot like that photo, if not exactly that photo. And his base card, I think, looks like that photo. Brian Propp and Randy Wood. All right, man. This has been fun. What a fun series this has turned out to be. Oh, we have another future watch. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Well, so this is our box hit. Do you want to do the box hit now? We'll do it now. Okay. Uh, cue the... So what does it look like? A king? It looked... Mm, it looked kind of purplish? I'm not sure. Marcel Dion would be wicked, but let's let's go. Slava Kozlov, another great hockey name. Randy Carlisle. I'm so excited again. Dana Merzin and Morris the Rocket Richard, which is probably a short print. And we have a purple one here. I believe this is a purple one. And it is a future watch. And it is, who is it? Oh my God, it's Lucky Luke. It is Lucky Luke. Is he, he's, he should be numbered to 99, but I'm not sure he is. And he is numbered to 99. It is him, isn't it? Wow, we hit the Lucky Luke. Boom, boom. Quebec mojo on this one, man. Okay, what I'll say about Lucky Luke, besides the fact he's numbered to 99, so he's a short print uh, future watch, is he is the second all-time scorer for a left winger behind, guess who, OV. And I would argue that he uh, was more generous th with the puck than OV. We could debate different uh, styles and so on, but he is absolutely a legend. I mean, arguably the best, one of the best left wingers for sure. So always, you know, there's recency bias for these guys, you know, so I don't want to get into those debates but an absolute monster. And of course, a Stanley Cup winner as well. So much love for Lucky Luke. Uh, yeah, look up his scoring totals. Look them up. They're trail only OV for, um, for a left wing. And this is Mario. So here's a Mario, why not? So that was our box hit. That was a great box hit. Some people are wondering why Raycroft is in it. Raycroft was involved in one of the biggest trades in history between Toronto and Boston involving Tuca. So that's one of the reasons why he's in it. Uh, wow, so we have uh, Robert Picard, another one, another great. Hanzus, Hedberg, and Yarko Rutu. Those Quebec jerseys are so politically charged because it was during the separation days and you know all the division of vis-a-vis -vis the referendum going on. There are actually two referendums, but one in the 80s and one in the 90s. So it's so funny, whenever I see those jerseys, they mean so much to me. I don't know if you guys saw the Good Friday brawl between Quebec and Montreal. This was back in 1984 on April 20th. And wow, one of the craziest brawls ever. So the rivalry between Montreal and Quebec was a thing and it was a politically charged thing. Uh, because of the political environment at the time. So I, whenever I see a Quebec jersey, it's just so meaningful to me. And here we go, man. So we have the Jagger, and that is just like a base profile tier one. Another great box, man, another great box. All right, Lukovic, and we have the Wainer. Very nice. I wouldn't mind the auto Wainer. That would be very cool. I've seen it pulled, actually. Scott Mellenby, last two packs, last two packs here. And this looks like a base with a parallel in it. So we have the Lori Boschman, as well as the Dan McGillis and the PJ Axelson. All right, two more packs, including the one I put aside with the future watch in it, the acetate. And this is just a base canvas and it looks like an oil. Is it the Grand Fuhrer? I did hit the Grand Fuhrer auto version of this, if it is this one, it is this one. What sucks about it, the one that I hit, it actually is a little bit white at the top. Um, this is the problem with hard sign autos. One of the reasons why I like um, sticker autos is you don't destroy the cards. A lot of the players destroy the cards when they sign and just the shipping and handling or however they do it, uh, whether they do it in person or in mail. Oh, wow, it's red. That's good, red is good, although it could be you know, anything from a Red Wing to a Devil to Blackhawk to etc. etc. Okay, so we have Paille and who is our future? Sometimes these are turned around, so I don't know if this is front facing. And this is 
Yeah, it is, it is backwards, so we'll see from the back. Can we guess from the back? Inverted. Uh, ooh, it's Marty! No way! What? That is sick. That is so sick. That is so sick. It's Marty St. Louis. Can you, I mean, why they got rid of this guy is anyone's guess. I guess they threw in the towel on him, but you know, oft forgot that he came up through these guys. Oft forgotten. That is sick. More Habs Mojo. More Habs Mojo. That is wicked. That is so cool. Quebec Mojo Habs Mojo. Why they threw in the towel on this guy? They bought out his contract. I mean, how lame is that? Talk about regrets. So that's basically it, guys. Another sick, sick rip of this stuff. Bonkers. My Habs Mojo is just off the charts. It's on 11, dialed up to 11 all the time. Either that or my Goalie Mojo. And two future watches in this box. Uh, nothing to complain about once again. Of course, it's easy for me because I enjoy every card in this hobby. Uh, you guys may be chasing more or looking for particular cards. Not me. I just appreciate all the cards. But I, you know, there's just so many Habs and the Habs keep on hitting me right in the heart. So I'm happy. So guys, do me the honor. Sub like hashtag dry. And I'll be full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn. New York City.